The biggest grudge match of the round is this Thursday night. The Windless Eels up against Premier's Penrith. Parramatta say they don't feel like a team desperate for a result, but know they need one soon to get their season moving. An easy Eels Sunday morning. A shortened session because of the searing heat. The big names didn't even get off the bike. You couldn't tell this is a team that's lost three straight. Do you feel like a team that's still looking for its first win? Um, no, it's a bit weird. We've... Um, we could easily be the other way around and no one really be talking about it and we're just rolling along, but that's the way footy goes. It will turn and we're the ones that can make it turn. Things only get harder on Thursday night. The Battle of the West with the Panthers, a rematch of last year's grand final. Dylan Brown remembers it well, one of few eels to watch their rivals raise the trophy. Made sure I stayed out there and watched. I'd obviously heard and I just wanted to see what it looked like to win. Regardless of our uh, last three weeks and um, with them, it's, it's going to be massive for us. You know, they're the benchmark and I'd like to think we are too, so uh, we need to get back to where we are. Ryan Madison will help that. He's back from suspension. It's massive. Um, obviously in size and massive for us as a team. Madison choosing to miss three games rather than pay the $4,000 fine for a crusher tackle. His mates not quite ready to make fun of his reluctance to pay up. <laughs> um, look, I don't know. It's, uh, we haven't really spoken about it, to be honest. It's, uh, we just got to move on. It's the boys that stepped in, did their job and um, hopefully he can repay us. Sam Jordan, Nine News. Bulldogs have beaten the Heat and a fast-finishing Tigers team to enjoy a rare win back at Belmore. Canterbury was coasting late in the second half before the visitors staged a late fight back. The Dogs holding on for a 26-22 win. A pre-match selfie yes, with Sonny childhood Bill idol there, Sonny Bill Williams for Billy Army Kickout, who Burton provided now. the perfect party start kick for out. Canterbury. Billy Army kick out of Hayes Perham. There's the first try. A gift from Adam Dewey for Paul Alamotti's streak away, away and the Belmore the crowd Bulldogs rises one. The, the Dogs off to an absolute and flyer. What do you do when you're starting to run out of pace? You give it to the Fox, Josh Adokar. Finally let out of his tiger cage, John Bateman wanted to make an immediate impact. He's dropped it. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh, no. An incredible intercept from Brett Naden saw the Tigers claw back within six before the Bulldogs were toying with their opponents once again. Can he link up with the Fox again? He can. Brilliant play. Fired up for the second 40 minutes, but the West Tigers were their own worst enemy. Oh, that was horrible. In down in the lead up, Matt Burton showed no signs of a groin injury on game day. Full back to beat Matt Burton under the post for the Doggies. Kick out put on report for this crusher tackle. His teammates put on notice as the Tigers burst back into the match. Three long range tries, and suddenly they were back within striking distance. Charlie Stains is away! The fight back brave, but the Bulldogs held on for a four-point win. Hey, win the win, let's try it, that's it. Zach Bailey, Nine News. Anthony Griffin has called out his senior players for not handling the pressure in the Dragons' 40-18 loss to the Broncos. Scores were locked at 18 all with nine minutes remaining before Red V conceded 22 unanswered points. Some of the, the decisions we made from some of our older blokes weren't real good as, as well when the when the heat come on. But you know that's you know that that's going to give us the opportunity to you know to build and be stronger. Next up for the Dragons, a local derby against the Sharks next Sunday.